One, two, one, two, three, four. was a dance we had for our steak and it must have been Halloween because we, we were dressing up. Yeah, I actually remember pretty clearly. Um, I was just sitting in our ward um, down at BYU and uh, up steps Amanda. This must have been pretty close to the start of the year and all I remember is that she gave um, a talk and I was very impressed. And then he showed up to the dance in a banana suit. Bananas in pajamas, in fact. Boy, obviously she's gorgeous, but apart from that, um, I really like her style. I thought she had a lot of fire in the gospel and just in general. And he just brought it so hard on the dance floor. And I remember thinking, this kid is really weird, <laughs> but really in a cool way. And it really, it really worked with me. And so I, I just remember thinking, like, wow, Josh is, Josh is interesting. I wonder if there's more to that. And I just remember going home that night, and I think I said to Kate and Trent, I was like, yeah, I, I could take Amanda out sometime. And that was about it. That's, that's the first time I remember really noticing her. And we were singing. Okay, so like a couple of days before our first kiss, um, Amanda pretty much begged me to kiss her. She probably won't admit this. Josh claims that I told him to kiss me, basically, but I just didn't know. I didn't know if he wanted to kiss me, so I maybe asked him. We were having a talk, and like in the middle of the talk, she like looks at me and she's like, do you want to kiss me right now? And I was like, well, yeah, like obviously, but I'm not going to do it now. This isn't going to be how our first kiss goes down. A couple nights later, uh, we were going to actually the place that we had our first our first date up by Utah Lake. The setting's perfect. We got the moonlight just shining across the lake, and the water's lapping against the against the rocks. And I just remember I was in the middle of this story, and all of a sudden he's like coming closer towards me. And unfortunately, I wasn't listening at all to what she was saying. She was telling me about something, but right in the middle of her sentence, I just leaned in to kiss her. Mm -hmm. There he was, like coming towards me, and he went in for the kiss, and I just like pulled back, like out of complete surprise. What are you doing? And then I don't even remember what I said, and completely lost my train of thought. And I realized, like, oh, I, I do want to kiss him. I probably should kiss him. So then we kissed, and it was beautiful. Josh and I had been dating for a while, and. I began to have a lot of experiences that showed me, hey, you know, Josh is really cool, he's what I need, he's adventurous, we can communicate so well, um, but I, I'd just been having a lot of doubts and, and insecurities, I guess. Um, I kind of just knew by this point that I was ready to marry her. I had kind of been frustrated a little bit because she was just coming a little slower than me. I knew she loved me and I knew the issues weren't with me, but she still had some some fears about marriage and one night um, we were we were studying the gospel together in, in Spanish and we we kind of frequently done that uh, so after a really good study we just kept talking in Spanish and started to just talk about our feelings and and how how our relationship was going and so there we were and I made a joke to her some cheeky comment like yeah, well, like in December when we're married, we'll do this or something like that. And she said to me, no, like, it's going to have to be sooner. And I looked at her and I was like, wait, so like, we, I mean, you want to get married? And uh, she was like, yeah, like over the last few days, it's just like been hitting me. And I was like, <laughs> I really was not expecting this to happen for a couple more months but it was going to happen. Well, we just started to, I just started to tell him 
in Spanish <laughs> everything that I was feeling and that I wanted to be with him and that um, I, wanted, I wanted to have a family with him and that I wanted to be with him forever. And by the end of it, I just, I mean, I was thrilled, but I was also thinking, is she going to be thinking the same thing tomorrow? Like, let's, let's see what she thinks tomorrow. And uh, I saw her the next day, first thing she says to me is, I'm feeling the same, I love you. And I was like, all right, it's going down. Amanda is everything that I knew I wanted and everything that I didn't know I wanted, but that I needed all along. There's so many things to love about Josh. Um, one of the first things you, you realize about him is he is goofy and he's spontaneous and he's adventurous, he's full of energy. Um, and I, have, I, have, I feel like I'm pretty full of energy, but when I met him sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I can barely keep up with you. And I love that about him. He always keeps me on my toes. She is passionate. She's motivated. Uh, she just gets things done. He loves people and he serves them and he's so loyal. She's a great communicator. That's something that I've learned that I definitely need. It drives me crazy when someone can't explain their feelings. And Amanda's really good at that. We've always been able to talk through absolutely anything openly. And, and we always end our talks feeling better off than when we started, um, which is huge. We can communicate really well, and that's something we both need. We both, we're both chatterboxes. We both need to express ourselves, express our feelings, and, and we feel a lot of love by being able to hear the other person communicate their feelings to us. And She's just so fun. She makes me feel so comfortable to just be my normal weird self. I feel like I can be myself. I can be my crazy self. I can be my emotional self. Um, and he'll just love me through all of it. She is so fun. She's got great dance moves. Um, she's gorgeous. We both have a healthy sense of adventure. She's going to be an incredible mom. I tell her that all the time. I hope she believes that. Uh, she is pretty unreal. The other thing that's just so important to me is I really feel like he's going to be such a great dad. And he's going to be an incredible husband. And he just cares for people. And that's, that's why I love Josh. <laughs>